Indian Institute of Technology Madras is a public engineering institute located in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. As one of the Indian Institutes of Technology IITs, it is recognized as an institute of national importance. Founded in 1959 with technical and financial assistance from the former government of West Germany, it was the third IIT that was established by the Government of India. IIT Madras has been ranked as the top engineering institute in India for three years in a row 2016 by the National Institutional Ranking Framework of the Ministry of Human Resource Development. IIT Madras is a residential institute that occupies a 2.5 square kilometers acre campus that was formerly part of the adjoining Gindi National Park. The institute has nearly 550 faculty, 8,000 students and 1,250 administrative and supporting staff. Growing ever since it obtained its charter from the Indian Parliament in 1961, much of the campus is a protected forest, carved out of the Gindi National Park, home to large numbers of cheetal spotted deer, black buck, monkeys, and other rare wildlife. A natural lake, deepened in 1988 and 2003, drains most of its rainwater. History In 1956, the West German government offered technical assistance for establishing an institute of higher education in engineering in India. The first Indo-German agreement was signed in Bonn, West Germany in 1959 for the establishment of the Indian Institute of Technology at Madras. IIT Madras was started with technical, academic and financial assistance from the government of West Germany and was at the time the largest educational project sponsored by the West German government outside their country. This has led to several collaborative research efforts with universities and institutions in Germany over the years. Although official support from the German government has ended, several research efforts involving the DAAD program and Humboldt fellowships still exist. The institute was inaugurated in 1959 by Professor Humayun Kabir, the then Union Minister for Scientific Research and Cultural Affairs. In 1961, the IITs were declared to be institutions of national importance. These include the Indian Institutes of Technology located at Kharagpur established 1951, Mumbai established 1958, Chennai established 1959, Kanpur established 1959, Delhi established 1961, Guwahati established 1994, IIT Roorkee established 1847, renamed to an IIT in 2001, IIT BHU Varanasi established in 1919, got status of IIT in 2012. Madras celebrated its Golden Jubilee in 2009. Seven more IITs have been set up since 2008. Campus The main entrance of IIT Madras is on Chennai's Sada Patel Road, flanked by the residential districts of Adiyar and Velacheri. The campus is close to the Raj Bhavan, the official seat of the governor of Tamil Nadu. Other entrances are located in Velacheri near Anna Garden MTC bus stop, Velacheri Main Road, Gandhi Road known as Krishna Hostel Gate or Toll Gate and Taramani Gate close to Ascenders Tech Park. The campus is located 10 km from the Chennai Airport, 12 km from the Chennai Central Railway Station, and is well connected by city buses. Kastabay Nagar is the nearest station on the Chennai MRTS line. Two parallel roads, Bon Avenue and Delhi Avenue, cut through the faculty residential area, before they meet at the Gajendra Circle, near the administrative block. Buses regularly ply between the main gate, Gajendra Circle, the academic zone, and the hostel zone. <laughs> <laughs> Location in context Topic: Organization and administration. The Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, is an autonomous statutory organization functioning within the Institutes of Technology Act. The 16 IITs are administered centrally by the IIT Council, an apex body established by the Government of India. The Minister of Human Resource and Development, Government of India, is the chairman of the council. 
Each institute has a board of governors responsible for its administration and control. The Senate comprises all professors of the institute and decides its academic policy. It controls and approves the curriculum, courses, examinations, and results. It appoints committees to examine specific academic matters. The director of the institute serves as the chairman of the Senate. The director from 2001 to 2011 was M. S. Ananth, who stepped down at the end of July 2011. As of September 2011, Bhaskar Ramamurti has taken over as director, three Senate subcommittees, the Board of Academic Research, the Board of Academic Courses and the Board of Students, help in academic administration and in the operations of the institute. The Finance Committee advises on matters of financial policy, while the Building and Works Committee advises on buildings and infrastructure. The Board of Industrial Consultancy and Sponsored Research addresses industrial consultancy and the Library Advisory Committee oversees library matters. <laughs> Departments Aerospace Engineering Applied Mechanics Biotechnology Chemical Engineering Chemistry Civil Engineering Computer Science and Engineering Electrical Engineering Engineering Design Humanities and Social Sciences Mechanical Engineering Management Studies Metallurgical and Materials Engineering Mathematics Ocean Engineering Physics Academics IIT Madras offers undergraduate, postgraduate and research degrees across 16 disciplines in engineering, sciences, humanities and management. About 360 faculty belonging to science and engineering departments and centers of the institute are engaged in teaching, research and industrial consultancy. The institute has 16 academic departments and advanced research centers across disciplines of engineering and pure sciences, with nearly 100 laboratories. The academic calendar is organized around the semester. Each semester provides a minimum of 70 days of instruction in English. Students are evaluated on a continuous basis throughout the semester. Evaluation is done by the faculty, a consequence of the autonomous status granted to the institute. Research work is evaluated on the basis of the review thesis by peer examiners both from within the country and abroad. Ordinances that govern the academic program of study are prepared by the Senate, the highest academic body within the institute. Topic: <laughs> Admission tests. For the undergraduate curriculum, admission to the B.Tech and dual degree B.Tech plus M.Tech program is done through the Joint Entrance Examination – Advanced G Advanced. IIT Madras conducted G Advanced in 2017. Admission to the five-year Integrated Master of Arts MA program is through the Humanities and Social Sciences Entrance Examination HSEE, an IIT Madras specific exam. For the postgraduate curriculum, admission to the M.Tech and M.S. programs are through the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering GATE. The Joint Admission Test to MSc JAM is the entrance exam for the two-year MSc program, and other post-BSc programs. MBA candidates are accepted through the Common Admission Test CAT. Topic Rankings Internationally, IIT Madras was ranked 264 in the QS World University Rankings of 2018. The same rankings ranked it 48 in Asia and 18 among BRICS nations. It was ranked 601 to 800 in the world by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings of 2018, 103 in Asia and 35 among BRICS and Emerging Economies University Rankings in 2017. IIT Madras also ranked first among engineering colleges by the National Institutional Ranking Framework in 2018 and second overall. It was ranked fourth among engineering colleges in India in 2017 by the week. Topic. Grading system and student evaluation The Indian Institutes of Technology are under control of the Government of India and therefore have strict rules for grade. 
Depending on the course the evaluation is based on participation in class, attendance, quiz, exam and or paper. Continuous evaluation is done by course instructors. The evaluation system of IIT Madras which is also used in other IITs is the cumulative grade point average with a scale from 0 to 10 which is converted to letters. CGPA then gets calculated as the cumulative credit weighted average of the grade points. CGPA equals sigma CGPI, sigma C, where n is the number of courses, C is credits for the ITH course. GPI is grade points for the ITH course. CGPA is the cumulative grade point average. The CGPA is not the same as the one commonly used in the United States. In India some credits might be awarded during bachelor studies for co-curricular and extracurricular activities, while during the master program this is not allowed. Through agreements with numerous international organizations, IIT grades are accepted from many international organizations like NTU, NUS and DAAD. Additionally, the attendance of the students is evaluated with VG for very good always present, G for good not present every lecture and P for poor student was present less than 85% of lectures. Other academic activities. Topic: Academic research programs. The institute has departments and advanced research centers across the disciplines of engineering and the pure sciences, and nearly 100 laboratories. Research programs concern work undertaken by faculty members or specific research groups within departments that award an MS or PhD degree. Research is carried out by scholars admitted into these departmental programs, under the guidance of their faculty. Each department makes known its areas of interest to the academic community through handbooks, brochures and bulletins. Topics of interest may be theoretical or experimental. IIT Madras has initiated 16 interdisciplinary research projects against identified focus areas. Partnership with other universities The institute maintains academic friendship with educational institutes around the world through faculty exchange programs. The institute has signed Memoranda of Understanding with foreign universities, resulting in cooperative projects and assignments. Industrial consultancy and sponsored research Through industrial consultancy, faculty and staff undertake assignments for industry that may include project design, testing and evaluation, or training in new areas of industrial development. Industries and organizations request the IIT faculty to undertake assignments channeled through the Center for Industrial Consultancy and Sponsored Research National organizations sponsor programs of research by funding projects undertaken by the faculty. Such research is time-bound and allows project participants to register for a degree. Project proposals are usually prepared by the IIT faculty and forwarded to interested organizations, based on the nature of their research and their interest to fund such projects. Sponsored projects are often vehicles for new resources within departments, and often permit the project staff to register for academic degrees in the institute. All sponsored research activities at the institute are coordinated by ICSR. <laughs> IIT Madras Research Park The IIT Madras Research Park, the first of its kind to be established in India, functions to propel successful innovation in established companies and provide a nurturing ecosystem to startups through incubation efforts and technical infrastructure. Following its success, 50 research parks were planned as part of Startup India initiative of the Central Government of India. Corporate clients of IIT Madras Research Park include Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, St. Gobin and Forbes Marshall. Atta Energy, Hyperverge and Gundata are some of the startups incubated at the research park. The research park is primarily reason why a very large number of startups are incubated at IIT Madras. Topic: 
Topic: National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning (NPTEL). To improve the quality of higher education in India, IIT Madras came up with an initiative called NPTEL National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning in the year 1999. As per this initiative, all the IITs, along with the IISC Bangalore would come up with a series of video lecture-based courses across all the streams of engineering. This initiative has gained wide popularity in India and the lectures are being used by several engineering students from across India. Topic. Student activities Topic. Shastra Shastra is the annual technical festival of IIT Madras. It is typically held in the second week of January and is the first ISO 9001-2000 certified student festival in the world. It is known for its organization and activities. Forums include the symposia, workshops, video conferences, lectures, demonstrations, and technical exhibitions. Competitive activities cover design events, programming, simulations, quizzes, applied engineering, robotics, junkyard wars and contraptions. The Shastra Lecture Series draws attendance from various distinguished people in various technical fields from all over the world for giving guest lectures either in person or via video conference. These lectures and demonstrations aim to introduce students to the cutting-edge research happening in various fields, and serve as educational forums that encourage interaction between collegiate students and academia and industry. Sarang Sarang is the annual social and cultural festival of IIT Madras. It is a five-day long event held in early January every year and attracts a crowd of 70,000 students and young people from across the country, making it the largest student-run fest in India. Sarang events include speaking, dancing, thespian, quizzing and word games, professional shows, nicknamed pro shows and workshops on music, fashion, art, and dance. Sarang has been awarded ISO 9001-2015 certificate recently. Sarang, is the new name of the festival that was once called, Mardi Gras. It was changed in 1996 in an effort to reflect the cultural and environmental roots of this festival. The Entrepreneurship Cell The Entrepreneurship Cell, IITM, abbreviated as E-Cell IITM, is a student-run body responsible for promoting and inculcating a spirit of entrepreneurial thinking among both the faculty and the student fraternity of IIT Madras. E-Cell was earlier known as C-Tides, and was rechristened in 2015 along with a series of organizational changes in an effort to promote greater engagement among students. E-Summit is the flagship event of E-Cell, and is a three-day long event typically held in the first week of April. It includes a myriad of events and competitions, such as the Startup Boot Camp, Pitchfest and the Intern Fair, and lectures from some of the most eminent entrepreneurs of India. Past speakers have included the likes of Ritesh Agarwal and Nandini Vaidyanathan. 2017 marked the second installation of E-Summit. It witnessed a footfall of approximately 1,000 people from nearly 30 colleges, and it involved over 100 startups. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Department festivals. Several departments organize department festivals. Samanve, Biofest, Exhibit, Waivers, Mechanica, CEA Fest, Chemclave, Amalgam and Forays are some of the festivals organized by the Department of Management Studies, Computer Science and Engineering, Ocean Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Metallurgical and Materials Engineering and Maths Departments respectively. Department of Humanities and Social Sciences hosts annual academic conference. Topic: Extra Mural Lectures (EML). Launched in 1980 by a group of students with support from the then director of IIT Madras, late Professor 
P. V. Indiresan, the main aim of the extramural lecture series is to expose the IIT Madras community to the ideas and experiences of eminent personalities from diverse backgrounds. EML provides a platform for insightful interactions between the students of IIT Madras and individuals who have done pioneering work. Over the years, the likes of late former President of India APJ. Abdul Kalam, Nobel laureate the 14th Dalai Lama, chess grandmaster Vishwanathan Anand, filmmaker S.S. Rajamuli, Honorable Governor Shri. E.S.L. Nursimhan, Honorable Minister of Railways Shri. Suresh Prabhu, co-founder of Infosys Shri. Chris Gopalakrishnan and Ambassador of Japan to India H.E. Mr. Kenji Hiramatsu have been hosted at IIT Madras for extra-mural lectures, to motivate the students and broaden their perspectives. Topic. Student hostels Most students at IIT Madras reside in the hostels, where extracurricular activities complement the academic routine. The campus has 18 hostels, of which four, Sharavati, Sarayu, Sabarmati and the recently 2017 constructed Tunga are exclusively for women. In earlier times each hostel had attached dining facilities but all of them have been closed down. Dining facilities are provided in three centralized halls dubbed Nilgiri, Vindhya and Himalaya. The hostels may accommodate undergraduate and graduate students, though they tend to keep the two apart. Students are assigned to hostels at the time of admission, where they usually spend their entire stay at the institute. The hostels are named after the principal rivers of India and the campus buses used to be named after mountains, resulting in an epigram about IIT Madras that it is the only place where the mountains move and the rivers remain still. With the discontinuance of naming of buses and the mess halls being named Vindhya and Himalaya, this epigram is no longer meaningful. The halls of IITM are Sindhu, Pampa, Mahanadi and Tamiraparani are seven-storied whereas all the other older, classic hostels are three or four-storied. These four hostels can accommodate more than 1,200 students. The older hostels were all three-storied till the early 2000s when extra rooms in the form of an extra floor and rooms above the common room were added. An additional new floor in the three-storied hostels which generally house the undergraduate students and a new block in place of the mess halls of these hostels have been constructed to accommodate for the increased intake of the students. These new blocks could be used as entrances for these hostels. Extracurricular activities The Sustainability Network is an alumni student faculty initiative launched in May 2009 to sensitize and highlight the need to preserve the unique niche of one of the best educational campus in India. SNET was envisioned to work towards development and deployment of solutions for making a self-sustaining campus focusing on energy, electricity, water, and waste management, which could eventually be replicated across the country through tie-ups with other educational institutions. The Fifth Estate is the official media body of IIT Madras and gives an insight into the happenings inside the campus and important news related to the institute. The Open Air Theatre hosts the weekly movie, a Saturday night tradition, besides other activities. It seats over 7,000. The National Service Scheme NSS in IIT Madras has been noted for taking up socially relevant initiatives, taken up as individual projects to create an impact on the society as well as the students. The wing of NSS at IITM has over 400 students every year, contributing to the cause of the scheme. Since its inception, NSS at IITM has achieved many milestones in its history as a unique, student-run organization. Linked with several NGOs and social organizations both within and outside Chennai. By working out projects from Braille magazines to technology interventions, from teaching children in urban slums to educational video content, NSS IITM seeks to challenge the mediocre thinking, and reach out into the darkness, to pull a hand into the light. Hobby clubs include the Speaking Club, the Astro Club, Dramatics, Music and Robotics. Student bodies such as Vivekananda Study Circle (VSC), Islamic Study Circle, IIT Christian Fellowship, Genesis and Reflections focus on spiritual discussions. The campus has evolved a slang, attracting a published master's thesis at a German university. 
A mix of English, Hindi, Telugu, Galt, Malayalam, Malu, and Tamil, Tam. Aspects of the campus slang have been adopted by some other Chennai colleges. Unlike its sister institutions, IIT Madras has no single Indian language used among its students. Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Marathi, Kannada, English, and Hindi are all very commonly used. Consequently, all student participatory activities like debating, dramatics, short film making, and others are held in English. This is even reflected in the slang that uses more of English and other Indian regional languages than Hindi, unlike in IITM's northern counterparts. Facilities IIT Madras provides residential accommodation for its students, faculty, administrative and supporting staff, and their families. The residential houses employ private caterers. The self-contained campus includes two schools Vanavani and Kendriya Vidyalaya, three temples Jalakanteshwara, Durga Peliaman and Ganapathi Temple, three bank branches SBI, ICICI, Kanara Bank, a hospital, shopping centres, food shops, a gym, a swimming pool, cricket, football, hockey and badminton stadiums. Internet is available in the academic zone and the faculty and staff residential zone. Earlier internet was limited in hostel zone from 2 p.m. till midnight and from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., but increasing demand during academic semester lead to full-day internet service. IIT Madras has the fastest supercomputing facility among educational institutions in India. The IBM Virgo supercluster installed with 97 teraflops was also ranked 364 among the top 500 in world in the top 500 November 2012 list. Apart from this, the institution already has a supercomputer with 20 teraflops. Topic: <laughs> IIT Madras Heritage Center. The Heritage Center was formally inaugurated by Dr. Arkit Ramachandran, former director IIT Madras on the 3rd of March 2006. The center is located on the ground floor of the administration building. The actual idea of a heritage center was mooted in the year 2000 and it has become a reality due to the efforts of the professor in charge Dr. Ajit Kumar Kola and his team. The center will function as a repository of material of heritage value and historical significance of various facets of the institute. The exhibits include photographs, documents, publications, paintings, portraits, products developed and other articles. Information regarding important events, laboratory development, visits of important dignitaries, Indo-German cooperative activities, and academic achievements of faculty and students also are included. Aspects of IITM campus features and development, campus life and student activities are also included, thus broadening the scope of the center in the future to non-academic activities also. The activities of the Heritage Center will be of a continuous nature from now on and hence the support and cooperation of all IITians students, faculty and staff, past and present is very essential in making the center meet its goal of preserving IITM history and culture for the future generations of IITians. By the very nature of the task, the role of the alumni is crucial in establishing and furtherance the center. There is link of its personal website https colon slash slash www.iitm.ac in Heritage Center. Topic Notable Alumni Kaushik Bhattacharya, Howell N. Tyson Sr., Professor of Mechanics and Materials Science, Vice Provost at California Institute of Technology K. Mani Chandy, former Chair of Engineering and Applied Science at Caltech B. Jayant Baliga, inventor of the insulated gate bipolar transistor IGBT. Anand Raharaman, founder of Jungli, currently heading Cosmics.com with Venki Haranarian Anant Agarwal, Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at MIT Aaron Sundararajan, Professor at Stern School of Business, New York University B. N. Suresh, Director of IISST B. Muttaraman, Managing Director of Tata Steel Bhaskar Ramamurti, Director, IIT Madras Gururaj Deshpande, Founder of Sycamore Networks G. K. Ananthashush 
Hemendra Aran, CEO and founder of Aranka Research Jai Menon, IBM Fellow, CTO and VP, Technical Strategy, IBM Systems and Technology Group Chris Gopalakrishnan, Co-Chairman and Co-Founder of Infosys Krishna Bharat, Creator of Google News, Principal Scientist, Google Lakshminarayanan Mahadevan, Professor at Harvard, MacArthur Fellow 2009 Marty G. Subramaniam, Professor of Finance, Stern School of Business at New York University Mars Subramanian, Milton Harris Chair Professor of Materials Chemistry at Oregon State University Prabhakar Raghavan, Vice President of Engineering, Google and Consulting Professor at Stanford University R. Prasanna, Guitarist, Carnatic Music Prem Watser, Billionaire, Founder, Chairman, and Chief Executive of Fairfax Financial Holdings, which owns BlackBerry Vic Gundotra, Senior Vice President Google, Creator of Google Plus and MIT Technology Review Top Innovators in World Ramanathan V. Gua, Inventor of RSS Feed Technology, Computer Scientist at Google, won the Distinguished Alumnus Award from IIT Madras in 2013 Ramesh Govindan, Northrop Grumman Chair in Engineering and Professor of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering at the University of Southern California, won the Distinguished Alumnus Award from IIT Madras in 2014 Raghu Ramakrishnan, Technical Fellow and CTO, Information Services Microsoft Rayu Narayana Swami, IAS Officer Ramaya Krishnan, Dean of the Heinz College at Carnegie Mellon University S. Somya, Carnatic vocalist Shashi Nambasan, Director of the Center for Transportation Research and Education at Iowa State University Sridhar Taya, Ford Distinguished Research Chair and Professor of Operations Management at Carnegie Mellon University, Founder, SmartOps and OrganJet Subra Suresh, Former President of Carnegie Mellon University, Former Director of the National Science Foundation, Former Dean of the MIT School of Engineering Venkat Rangan, co-founder and CTO at Clearwell Systems Venkatesan Guraswamy, associate professor, Department of Computer Science, Carnegie Mellon University Venki Haranarian, Cosmics co-founder Vinay Nair, visiting professor at the Wharton School and founding principal of Ada Investments Hari Balakrishnan, Fujitsu chair professor in the EECS department at MIT Narayanan Chandrakumar, chemical physicist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Jayaraman Chandrasekhar, computational chemist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Murali Sastri, nanotechnologist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Viswanathan Kumaran, chemical engineer, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Atul Chokshi, materials engineer, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Panaki Majumdar, condensed matter physicist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Neelesh B. Mater, communications engineer, Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga laureate Topic. See also List of universities in India Universities and colleges in India Education in India Institutes of national importance Vaimuri Anjaneya Sama